Hey guys, I figured we should try this again. So here we are. I'm going to talk about thrifted things in just a moment. Since I posted a solo video, it's been quite a while. Not to dwell on the past year and a half too much, but I hope you've all been making it through. I know everyone's experiencing it differently and I hope that you are managing. Just to reminisce for a moment, I at the very beginning of all of this, when everything shut down, I did not thrift, obviously. But in my area, things opened up more quickly than other areas. So I did eventually start going into thrift stores again. I have been thrifting for quite a while since all of this began. I have continued to thrift. I definitely acquired some new things and I have a lot to show you. I thought I'd just start with something really simple because it's something that I use quite often. And so today, we're going to talk about thrifted staples, beginning with candles. Not just during this time period, but I've always liked to burn candles. I think because I've been home more, I have been burning candles more often, and really every day. I have phases of like, oh, I want pastel colored candles, or I want candles that are different shapes, or I want candles that are different colors. And if you find some, just kind of start collecting them so that you always have a little set at home and you're never without, if that's your thing. Let us begin. Ta-da! This is a hand-carved candle, is what I found out. It's a light pastel pink and white. It's got lots of twirls. It reminds me of a lightly colored taffy. I've used this in a table setting as the centerpiece. These hand-carved candles were really popular in the 70s, so you might find these yourself at thrift stores. I just think it's really pretty and interesting. And everything that I'm showing you was under, mostly under $5, definitely under $10, but I know I, I paid probably around two or three dollars for each of these candles. So now let's go into some of the cool tapers that I have found. Because of my new fascination with different candles, I have started following a lot of people who sell candles or make candles or paint candles on Instagram. I found these really pretty hand-painted candles as well. These are a nice hot pink color. They're just little roses. I follow a couple of people on Instagram now who hand paint candles and I kind of want to learn how to do it. I'm not very good at painting nice little delicate images, but yeah, I've seen classes and it's like opened up this whole new world of candle painting. Some other patterned candlesticks that I found are these striped ones. These came with this set and then I also at the same time got a set of blue striped candlesticks and you can see that they kind of, I think over time this happens with candles, but they've kind of bled into the white so the blue has bled into the white. It doesn't bother me at all. I still think it's really pretty. I think that just happens with heat and, and age. Then a couple of purple ones as well. I found all of those at once in one package. My favorite pattern candles that I found this year are these checkered ones. I have a set, there's one right here as well, that I just keep in this candlestick holder when I'm not using and I just keep these checkered tapers out. Here's some pretty basic candlesticks that just remind me of Greek columns. I think over this period a lot of people have gotten into candle making. Paul is an example of that. One of the things that you can do, you can purchase silicone molds on Etsy and create your own candles that look like this. Next up are the twisty candlesticks. I, like many, am very prone to candle trends. I've got different colors here. These are just white candles. These are vintage. I think all of these twisted ones are vintage. And then I found a whole handful of these at an estate sale. Little, I think they're kind of like a yellow, orange, I like the way that they're packaged as well with this little gold seal. I have more of these that I found. If you're keeping candlestick holders out, these are nice to just, just leave out, but also to burn. I've got more here. If you turn them around, they've got little, I think those are maybe lilies. I didn't purchase everything that I saw. You wouldn't know that from this haul. So I've seen these in thrift stores before in bags but oftentimes they're broken. I think I, I'm surprised that I haven't broken them just storing them. I think these look like they were hand dipped. The green is, is a little bit raised. I think I might actually stop there. I honestly have, I think I have like 50 other candles that I could show you, but 
I'll do that a different time. I hope you enjoyed this haul and I hope that you are doing very well. Thank you so much for watching. Bye.